Snapchat made its name with silly AR filters, or lenses as they call them. In recent years, it's expanded into shopping, allowing users to try on clothing, jewelry, and makeup in the app. Now, Snap is selling this technology to other businesses. And, the company announced this week, it's pushing AR into the real world, bringing AR mirrors to some men's warehouse and Nike stores in the U.S. Earlier this month, I went to the company's headquarters in Santa Monica to try the tech out myself. Carolina guides me to a room that sort of looks like a photo booth. The entrance is in the shape of the Snapchat ghost logo. And actually, these lights, they look good. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy is right. It's pretty bright in there, and there's a big vertical screen, sort of like a giant phone, where you can play with goofy Snapchat filters. Oh, I'm like the AI Pope. (laughs) It also lets you virtually try on real clothes and accessories from different brands. Zenny, this is one of amazing eyewear retailers. So these are some of the shades that they sell. So if you're looking for some, you know, some spicy eyewear, yeah. some hearts, yeah. you know. Like a 70s rock and roll concert. You are, you're looking really spicy, but of course, mm. some Dior action there. You look fabulous. And going even more utility, here's a Prada bag. Okay. So if you just extend out your arm, Yeah, and then we can actually change the color and the size so you can see different items. Um, They all look great with your outfit. Buy it, done. It's for you. Unfortunately, that Prada bag remained virtual for me. I didn't actually buy it. All this technology is pretty cool to play with as a user and it's increasingly available outside the Snapchat app through the company's AR Lens Studio, which brings the AR experience to other businesses. But with the augmented reality tech used for all of this come some privacy concerns. To make an accurate digital overlay, these tools often scan users' appearance, head shape, facial features, things we can't really change if there's a security breach. So I asked Carolina what happens to that data. Augmented reality and using the camera doesn't have to actually be something that's storing biometric data that makes you personal, you know, identifiable. And that's the approach that we've taken, which is to make sure that, yes, the camera can in the instant track that's a face and that eyes, but you cannot track that is that person's face. None of that information is being stored and used or can be used for identifiable information. We've got more on Snap's latest plans for AR and AI at our website, marketplacetech.org.